Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, we are going to cover 10 points of uh, Juz 3, last uh, Rukuz, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, we here are looking at points that make us understand where we stand in relation to the ayats, in relationship to the messages that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given, and in relation to the statements that are here. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. We look at this um, scholar Saza Nigatashmi, Fihi Zikrukum, review and self assessment points. Do I sincerely believe that? This is just three last rukus. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Number one, that the question is, the statement is, true guidance is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do I believe that? True guidance is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, no, to some extent, to a greatest extent. Where do I stand right now? Everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put together and given us in the form of the beautiful noble Quran, Quran Majid, alhamdulillah, the guidance that is in there, do I believe it's all true? Allah Akbar. And that is where we, what we have to analyze about ourselves next. Number two, everything in the skies and the earth is obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do I believe that everything that exists in the entire universe is following Allah's commandments, is following the way that Allah wants them to operate? Do I believe that? Yes, no, to some extent, to a great extent. Number three, Every one of us must return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do I believe that every one of us, every single person, every single jinn, every single you know, creation of Allah will have to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Do I believe that? Yes, no, to some extent, to a great extent. Question number four. Believers do not reject any prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not discriminate between them. Do I believe this? Do I believe that all the prophets were sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all the prophets are valued by Allah and they're very, very honorable people and I do not want to discriminate amongst them. Yes, no, to some extent, to a great extent. I um, Question number five. Anyone who follows any creed other than obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be unsuccessful and destitute in the akhirah. Do I believe that if I follow any kind of other deen, other way of living, other than Islam, other than obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that I will be unsuccessful and destitute in the akhirah? I will not find success in the akhirah, in the hereafter. Yes, no, to some extent, to a great extent. Question number six, point number six. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not guide those who disbelieve after accepting faith. Do I believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not guide those who disbelieve after accepting faith? Yes, no, to some extent, to a great extent. Statement number seven, obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to submit to him. Do I believe that by submitting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I am actually saying, Allah, I am obedient to you. I will follow your commandments. I will lead my life according to your rules and regulations. Do I believe obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to submit to him? Do I believe that by obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'm actually submitting to him. Point number eight. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not guide the troublemakers and the rebels. Do I believe this? Yes, no, to some extent, to great extent. Point number nine. Those who repent and redeem will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kind and forgiving. So I have to ask myself, do I believe that when we turn back to Allah and we make amends and we become better people and we make an effort to please Allah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is kind and he will forgive us? Yes, no, to some extent, to a great extent. Point number 10. We must give everlasting life 
priority over the temporary life of this world. Inshallah. And this can only happen if we do deeds in this world that will be rewarded inshallah in the next world so we must um do i believe that we must give everlasting life priority over the temporary life of this world yes no to some extent to a great extent i ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us all to help us all in understanding his kalam to help us all in understanding this noble book the guidance for humanity. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we learn how to be better people, inshallah ta'ala, and whatever we learn, inshallah, we teach others, inshallah ta'ala. As we look at these points um, and we analyze ourselves as to where we stand and where we are at this point in life, in accordance to these statements, in, in accordance to these points, we are actually helping ourselves understand how we can improve inshallah what we need to improve inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the quran majid is developing our personality such that we become righteous we become god conscious may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to understand the love that he's given to us may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to fear him and to know that if we do something wrong, we can receive the anger of Allah and we do not want to do that. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to always rely on him, always have hope for betterment and ask for what betterment. A mu'min is someone who has true, strong love for Allah, fear to displease him, and hope to please him inshallah ta'ala may allah bless you guide you protect you and keep you safe ameen subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh